everybody and welcome back to Steph's Stories and Crafts. This week's story is all about my special guest here, Zerp, and his first visit to Earth. So snuggle on in, it's story time! Once upon a time in a faraway land there was a little boy... Oh, well, there, there wasn't actually any land and I'm not sure we should call him a boy. At least not an earth boy for sure. So we'll just call him by his name. Zerpon Grilling Face Nichnus Morishnap. That is a long name you have. Most of my friends just call me Zerp. Oh, well would you mind if we called you Zerp too? Of course you may. That's why I told you. Oh, well, of course. Thank you, Zerp. So as I was saying, once upon a time, in a faraway land, space, excuse me? It wasn't on land, it was in space. Ah, yes, quite right. Once upon a time, in a faraway space, there was a young boy named Zerb. Frick Munkin. Oh, bless you. No, that's what I'm called. I thought you were called Zerb. My name is Zerb, but my kind are called Frack Oh, I see. So, once upon a time, in a faraway space, there was a young Bruck Nunhick named Zerp. Right? Correct. Please continue. Okay, so Zerp had just left his family spaceship to go on a quick spacewalk when he saw a most peculiar object. It was a hammer, not a peculiar. <laughs> no, I know, Zerp. Peculiar isn't a noun, it's, it's an adjective. It's a what now? <laughs> an adjective. A descriptive word. So what's a noun? A noun is a person, place, or thing. So what does peculiar mean? Peculiar means odd or out of the ordinary. But hammers aren't odd. No. But how often do you see a hammer floating off by itself in space? Almost never. Right. So doesn't that make this hammer a bit peculiar? I suppose you're right. Please continue. So, Zerp saw a most peculiar object, and as he approached, he saw it was just a hammer. And on the handle of the hammer was written a name, Sally Mae Jones. <laughs> yes, the name on the handle was Sally Mae Jones. A most peculiar name. Actually, it's a pretty common name, Zerp. Perhaps to do other things, but not for brick non-kicks. I suppose you're right, sir. Sometimes, when something seems peculiar to one person or group of people, it seems perfectly normal to another person or group of people. It just depends on what you're accustomed to. Accustomed to? Yeah. Accustomed to means what you're used to. What's normal to you? Oh, like how I'm accustomed to boarfender offers, but strawberries are just weird. Exactly. Strawberries are delicious, by the way. So are Borfendoffers. I'll have to try one. <laughs> Weren't you telling a story? Oh, right. Where was I? The peculiar name. Right. So the handle had the name Sally Mae Jones written on it. And Zerp wanted to give it back to this Sally Mae Jones person. So he went looking for her, but I didn't want to go too far. It's easy to get lost out there in space. <laughs> right. So Zerp looked around a bit and then went back to his spaceship and told his parents about the hammer and how he wanted to return it to Sally Mae. And they sent out an intergalactic message about the hammer saying that I found it and would like to return it to Sally Mae Jones. But when you heard back, it wasn't from Sally Mae Jones, was it? No! It was a woman with an even more peculiar name, Commander Jane Jones. And did you give her the hammer? Well, I did not, because the hammer didn't have her name on it. And whose name did it have on it? Sally Mae Jones. Right. I mean, who was Sally Mae to Commander Jane Jones? Sally is Commander Jane Jones' daughter. And why did she have her daughter's hammer? Because her daughter gave it to her when she left Earth, in case she needed to fix anything on her spaceship. It came in handy too, didn't it? 
Commander Jane Jones had been using the hammer to repair the exterior of her spaceship when she lost it. Exterior? The outside of her spaceship. Commander Jane Jones had been so upset when she realized that she'd lost her daughter's hammer and so relieved when she heard the intergalactic message Zerp's parents put out. However, she was not expecting such a little Brachnon kick to put up such a fight in giving her back her daughter's hammer. But Zerp just wanted to give it back to Sally Mae directly. So not wanting to go home without her daughter's hammer, it was Sally's favorite tool after all. Commander Jane Jones invited Zerp and his parents back to Earth with her, where Zerp could give Sally the hammer directly. Mommy didn't come. She had to work. Alright then. So Commander Jane Jones brought Zerp and his father back down to Earth with her, where they were greeted by a big parade thrown in their honor. And after the parade, they were ushered to the White House and met the President of the United States of America. After which, they went up to New York City to go to the UN and meet all the foreign dignitaries there. Yeah, and everyone kept asking us questions about our life on Brooknungi. They were very nosy. And then they thought my dad was the ruler of all the Brooknungheks. <laughs> and he's just your average intergalactic postman. Anyway, all of that was boring. Get to the good part. The good part? You know, where I meet Sally Mae Jones. Oh. Right. After a long day of touring and meeting dignitaries and answering lots and lots of questions, Zerp and his father were escorted to a hotel in New York City, where S Commander Jane Jones was waiting for them with her daughter, Sally Mae Jones. She was so cool. She had overalls on and was carrying her toolbox, which was full of cool toys, which all matched her hammer exactly, and they all said Sally Mae Jones on their handles. The next day, my dad went to a bunch of meetings with presidents and prime ministers and people, but I got to stay with Sally Mae Jones all day, and she let me help her build a doghouse for her dog, Fido. And what happened when you had to go back to Brungnanghe? Sally Mae Jones gave me her hammer so I could make a house for my dip to doop which is kind of like a Brungnanghe dog. And didn't your dad become the first intergalactic ambassador to the planet Earth? Yeah! So now we spend half our time on Earth and half our time in Brungnanghe, which is great because Sally's still teaching me to build things. She's a great friend. Well, Zerp, I do believe that's the end of our story. You look like a sleepy little alien. Alrighty, everybody. I've got to tuck this sleepy alien into bed. But we do hope you enjoyed our story. And make sure to click subscribe so you never miss any stories or crap. Bye-bye now. <laughs>